So I just got back from competing in Wakefield Spring 2023 where I had possibly a completely one of a kind meetup. And no, it wasn't having three ZZ solvers in one conversation, although that might be one of a kind as well. It was much more interesting than that. So this meetup is crazy and it might be the luckiest meetup of Cubas, you know, you'll see what I mean in a second, uh, that has happened. But before we get into that, I'm just gonna have to set up some context so you can understand why this is crazy. The year is 2019 and the date is the 10th of July. The ZZ Method Solvers Discord server, Papa Smurf, a relatively well-known and well-respected ZZ solver, hosts a reconstruction. It's to his new PB single of a 5.35, but the solve had less than 4 TPS. How can he do this? Well, the scramble had an EO line skip. Edge orientation solved on the same axis as two opposite edges. This is quite rare, I've had this maybe two or three times ever. This allowed Popper to start the solve in the F2L step, and as it turned out, the F2L step went very smoothly, up to the point where he solved the last pair and just needed to AUF. Popper Smurf knows quite a bit of ZBLL, but uh, not all of it, so depending on which sort of OCL sets he gets, his normal solve would either look like EO step ZZF2L OCLL PLL or EO step ZZF2L ZBLL. Three or four steps. And most speed solving methods are three or four steps, depending on how you split them up. This solve was one. It was just ZZF2L. Uh, incidentally, it was 21 move solve, which would have put him at joint 23rd in the world for FMC, if he had gotten that officially. So in July of 2019, Papa gets this really lucky speed solve using a regular speed method. It's a one step solve, 21 moves, but very low TPS. So, fast forward about 3 years and 11 days, we're now on the 21st of July 2022, and I, Swagrid, me, myself, am practicing one-handed. Normally I do ZZ for one-handed, but on this day I chanced upon this scramble. That's a solved cross. That's a solved pair. I don't normally do CFOB OH, and I don't normally do colour neutral when I do CFOB, but having a cross completely solved and just misaligned, some people would say that this isn't a cross skip, by the way, but the last layer skip with AUF is still a last layer skip, and this is still a cross skip. Having a cross skip with a completely built pair? Alright, I'll bite the bullet. I'll do CFOP for a solve. So, I get started on the solve. So, I get started on putting the pairs where they belong, and I'm not doing anything special. You know, solving pairs into the back when I can, just doing typically standard F2L solutions. Nothing out of the ordinary, until I reach last slot, and I see this. I have this corner to the back, and that's a TTLL. It's a bloody good one. That's super anti soon. Knowing this, and solving the TTL, which is so good it's practically a standard F2L solution, means I don't have last layer either. That's one of the like top two or three standard F2L solutions for that case. That's a normal solution, and I skipped the cross. I just did a CFOP solve with one step, F2L. Of course, this being CFOP and this being one-handed, my solve was both less efficient and with a lower TPS than Papa's, so get rolled me. But, <clears throat> but this does mean that me and Papa both have one step solves with 3x3 three three speed methods. Now, it's important to mention, blind methods do exist, and you can make an argument that someone using 3 style is having a one step F2L solve. Alright, so it's edit a swag grid here. Firstly, check out the drip. Secondly, it's come to my attention that I said one step F2L solve. You don't do F2L during 3 style, I meant to say one step 3x3 three three solve, because that's what this is about. It's about one step 3x3 three three solves. Spam the comms. But... <clears throat> These both happened with designated speed methods that were supposed to have three or four steps each, depending on how you split up the steps of the method. A one step speed solve with a speed method is really rare. So we'll fast forward again by almost a year. It's Wakefield Spring 2023, and the competitor list features Jake Williams, Swagrid, and Joseph Tudor. Papa Smurf. Papa competing is pretty rare these days, and you know, me and him, we live on kind of opposite sides of the country, so 
we don't normally go to the same prompts. Uh, he takes all the ones I don't, I go to all the ones he doesn't, it's unfortunate. I specifically made the trek up to Wakefield as like the furthest competition away from me, just to meet him. And having realised that we've both had these one step speed method solves, it's almost kind of worth it. What are the odds of having a solve with ZZ or CFOP that are one step, just the F2L? No ear across, no eel line, no cross, no last layer, no ZBLL, just F2L. How many people have one step solves with speed methods? And have those people ever met each other before? This could be the only time two people with one step speed method solves have talked to each other IRL. That's really one of a kind, and that's really lucky. So if you know anyone who's had a one step solve with a speed method, or you yourself have had a one step solve with a speed method, or you know someone else, I want to know if there's been another case where two people who have had one step solves with speed methods through ZZC for Petrus have actually met and talked IRL. Is this the first time? This is a dub so big, I need bigger shades. Jeez. And like I mentioned, we were able to, you know, track down another ZZ solver at the same time, and we had three ZZ, oh, that's going. We had three ZZ solvers uh, in one conversation, which might have happened before at Pretzel Mania in the US. It might have not happened. Either way, that's still pretty cool. But you know what? Big Swaggers ain't done telling stories yet. So that's it now. Let's buff up the runtime of this video by talking about some other things, eh? What else happened at Wakefield Spring 2023? While I was in the venue, I got three last layer skips. None of them were official. They were all on 3x3, three three, and they were all while I was warming up for other events. Not a single one of them was official. I pulled a bit of a swag with move in 3x3, three three, wherein my official average was two seconds slower than my at-home average. This can't keep happening. 2x2 two two was mid, but 4x4 four four was the only event where I had good results. There's a bit of an interesting story behind it as well. Uh, so when I was at the Sainsbury's Diner and the staff were busy forgetting about my meal, seriously, 45 minutes for a chicken burger and chips, and the chips weren't cooked, they forgot about me. So while I was at the Sainsbury's, I was warming up 4x4 four four because it was my next event I had to solve, I was averaging about a minute flat with Yao. I'm bad at 4x4, four four, what about it? I noticed I was making some bad F2L decisions with, when there were misoriented edges involved, so I thought, you know, why don't I just orient my edges before F2L, I can do it, that is easy. <clears throat> so I started doing it in my warm up solves, edge orientation before F2L, including OL parity, because I want full EO solved so I can get the ZZ F2L look ahead. And it was working. I was averaging about 55, so I just cut five seconds out my solve by doing EO. So I decided, right, that's it. I need to do it officially. I was a bit scared of how my official results would go. Cutoff was 115, which was the only reason I was practicing 4x4. I averaged like 130 when I signed up for the event, and it forced me to practice it until I averaged less than a minute then when I was doing ZZ. So I was looking forward, I was thinking, you know, with a 55 average, you know, I'm confident, maybe I'll get like one flat, 105, you know, somewhere thereabouts. I should make cutoff. I got a pretty good average, but my standards 57 will take that. But during one of the assaults, a judge paid attention. Now this happens very, very rarely in competitions where a judge actually cares about the competitor that they're judging, but this judge watched my 4 my 4 solve with a lot of intent, and he ended up spotting my shenanigan when I solved OLL before a I meant OLL parity. ...before a single F2L pair, and he asked me afterwards, did you solve OLL parity? As soon as you got to the 3x3 stage, and I was like, well, yeah, I use ZZ, I can recognise EO in about a second, so I solve EO and OLL before anything in 3x3 three three stage. It was just cool to have this interaction with the judge where he knows what I'm doing and I get to explain what's going on with ZZ and that. He said it was very cool and started to tell his friend about it, so let's go with spreading ZZ propaganda in real life. Much like Sisyphus rolling the boulder up the hill in Tartarus, Swagrid is rolling ZZ up the hill of relevance. Uh, speaking of, I got to ratio a really small child in 3x3. Three three. Uh, one of his friends noticed I was doing ZZ and he was like, do you do ZZ? I was like, Yes. And he called over his friend and he was like, look at this guy, he's doing ZZ. And small child number two who had been called over, well, he, he's not a fan of ZZ, he was like, why do you do ZZ? I was like, mm, it's good. He was like, no it's not. And we had a brief back and forth, no it isn't, yes it is, no it isn't, yes it is. 
and he asked me what I average, and his friend came in and said, probably faster than you, and a wide grin went across my face because I was then able to say, mid nine, at which point the kid immediately stopped arguing with me and just sat down. Get ratioed, small child. Get ratioed. I'm a fully grown man.